I think Mike just gave us both demos, and maybe Drew listened to it first and was like, "Oh yeah, you gotta, we gotta, we gotta do this." There was no other option. Like we just had to work with Rosetta. I really wish I had played my cards differently when dealing with that label. I mean, we all used to be really, really, really good friends with the people at Translations. Friends. This whole relationship was strictly based on love. The stress of Rosetta and trying to get what we want while they try and get what they want, the contracts are stronger now, the bonds of friendship. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. The decision to go independent was the right decision. We are going to have 100% control over everything we do, and we're not that big. A lot of conviction behind what they're doing, and it's probably something they just feel like they have to do at this point. The future of the band is writing on this record. If the album does not recoup, there is no money to tour or make more albums. It could throw us into a situation where we're all fighting with each other all the time about whether we should keep going. That's so like pretty much was the last time we could all invest personal money into it. I wanted the outcome to be clear in the financial business side of things. Being in a band stalls your life. You can't do this other stuff that life is calling you to do because you're touring, you're recording, you're playing shows, you're, you're, you're busy kind of sculpting this entity. The only thing that's still in my life that was in my life when Rosetta started is God and my family. That's it. If Rosetta calls it a day, I'm going to take that personally. And I've got to look at myself in the mirror and figure out, all right, well, what's next?